One of the greatest joys of inorganic chemistry are the beautiful sights you create for your eyes to feast on daily. Today we shall be investigating the reaction between zinc and copper sulfate. For this experiment we prepared 50 milliliters of 0.1 molar copper sulfate and a strip of zinc metal. As you can see, two solutions of copper sulfate were made, one as the control, the other uh, as the experimental. To observe any differences to the solutions after zinc was added. So why does this beautiful reaction happen? Well, my colleague here, Platt, will tell you all about it. Zinc with copper sulfate is an oxidation reduction reaction, also known as a redox reaction, where electrons are transferred between two species, changing their oxidation numbers. Oxidizing agents reduce or gain electrons, where reducing agents oxidize or lose electrons. Generally, when metals are fully reduced, they form elemental plate, elemental metal and plate the site where they're reduced. In the first reaction, the copper is the oxidizing agent and the zinc is the reducing agent, since the copper 2 ion has a reduction potential of 0.15 volts, which is greater than the zinc ion's reduction potential of negative 0.76 volts. The particles floating around the water in the beaker are the solid copper particles that precipitate from the reaction. But where do the bubbles come from? Our chemical reaction does not contain any gases. The bubbles occur because hydrogen gas emerges from the water. Water naturally dissociates into H plus and OH minus, and the zinc reacts with the H plus, and the end products are zinc 2 plus and hydrogen gas, because the hydrogen gets reduced and the zinc gets oxidized. The original solution of copper sulfate has a color of light cyan, as it absorbs wavelengths of light in the red spectrum, photons of approximately 500 to 700 nanometers. Copper sulfate is consumed during this reaction and zinc sulfate is created. The solution becomes colorless, colorless as zinc sulfate is colorless in itself. And because zinc has no unpaired electron in its d orbitals, its salts will not have any color. So I hope you guys take away two things from this video. First, achieving a basic understanding of a simple single displacement redox reaction. And second, learning that chemistry is actually pretty cool. Thank you.